Laying Breeze Blocks A competition is a place where highly skilled people prove they are the best in their field. However, not only athletes want to be recognized and rewarded for their talent, here we have a construction contest. It was celebrated in 2017 by the Mason Contractors Association of America. The video features a speed competition for placing breeze blocks. Only the best craftsmen were invited to participate in the tournament. These people are not afraid to show their skills or compete with the most talented workers. Each mason's task was to build a 9 meter long concrete block wall. Only 20 by 20 by 40 centimeter concrete blocks could be used. They could also use construction mortar. The contestant who placed the most blocks in 20 minutes would be the winner. Participants had to demonstrate their skills only using hand tools as well. These competitions demonstrate the importance of teamwork to achieve a perfect result. Each competitor was allowed to have two assistants. The craftsmen did the main work themselves. The helpers were needed on site to prepare the blocks and mortar. The first place was given to a man named Gerardo Patlan, who placed 119 blocks. The person in the second place placed 115 blocks. This competition is held every year. In 2018, Gerardo ranked second, and in 2019 again first, with a record of 133 blocks. Stamped Concrete The unusual finish of concrete surfaces is becoming increasingly popular in construction work. There are a variety of ways to do this. Some are more complex while others are less. The most commonly used method is to create a relief of the surface with special stampings. However, it has certain significant drawbacks. The working speed is quite slow. For the pattern to be complete and accurate, the worker has to apply part of the stamping to the already existing pattern. The method you see right now does not have this disadvantage. Workers use a special large template. It allows to process even a large surface in a very short time. The template on the screen imitates a brick wall. At first, the workers apply some of these templates. They do have to be very careful though, placing them next to each other. The slightest mistake can make the relief look unnatural. Or they will have to remove the stencil, smooth the surface and do it all over again. The template is then pressed against the wet concrete with the help of special rollers. To give the finished surface the relief and also the color of a brick, a layer of dry dye is added. The trowel is used to rub the dye into the concrete. After the application of the wet mortar, the template is immersed even deeper into the surface. Once it's removed, it's necessary to clean the pattern with a jet of water. The final stages are plastering and glazing. Coin Floor In today's market, it's hard to find flooring materials that can surprise someone. So if you want to make a unique floor to amaze all of your guests, you need to use unusual materials. For example, this craftsman has decorated the floor with coins. To understand how many coins you'd need, first you have to choose the denomination of the coins. In this case, for example, British 2P coins were used. By the way, you can find special calculations online that can determine the number of coins based on floor area and coin diameter. 
First, the material adheres to the construction glue. When liquid, it's white and clearly visible. And as it dries, it loses color and becomes transparent. Placing the coins is probably the most difficult and longest stage of the whole process. Next, the grout is used to carry out various functions. First, it insulates the floor, ensuring no water enters the gaps between the coins. Secondly, it creates a beautiful contrast. And thirdly, it makes the surface smoother, which improves the quality of the final coating. The layer should dry before moving on to the next stage, the application of epoxy resin. The fact is that the resin can react with the grout and spoil the appearance of the floor. Later, the quality of the finished job will depend on how well the worker dilutes the epoxy solution. The procedure must be performed with great care, strictly following the instructions. In addition, you need to work very fast. The first portion of the epoxy resin is poured. To make the layer look beautiful, the next portion is made right after that, all to ensure that the resin on the floor doesn't dry, making a smooth, even surface. The result of this long, laborious and difficult work is an unusual, very beautiful and smooth floor. Three D pedestrian crossing. For the first time, the idea of creating three-dimensional pedestrian crossings originated in India. The advantages were then recognized in countries such as Iceland, Switzerland, Belgium, and France. For pedestrians, such a zebra crossing is just a few lines, but in fact, they are an optical illusion. Drivers see large concrete slabs blocking the road. Obviously, the driver reduces the speed, making the pedestrian crossing safer. It should be noted that these lines are, firstly, more expensive and, secondly, much more difficult to apply compared to a standard crossing. Road workers must be careful and attentive. It is necessary not to make mistakes with the corners of the lines and also to choose the right colors. The optical illusion works only if all stages of the marking are carried out flawlessly. As you can see, the workers shown in the video are professionals of their craft. Laminate on walls Today, the construction market offers more and more options for a quick and relatively simple finishing of walls. One of them is laminate, matching the floor surface. There are several ways to install laminate on the wall. The most efficient one is mounting it on an aluminium frame. In this case, the worker installs the guide rails at a distance of 50 centimeters from each other. It is very important that they are fixed strictly perpendicular to the floor. In order to ensure the laminate is perfectly flat, the main tool for installing the frame is the construction level. When the frame is securely fastened, the laminated panels are installed on the rails. Here, the level is used again. To make the laminated panel look more appealing, an aluminium frame is installed along the edge of the structure. The advantages of wall laminate over standard siding materials are obvious. First, the laminate is much stronger than standard PVC, so it's not as easy to break. Secondly, the wall laminate adds extra sound and thermal insulation to the room. And thirdly, it's easier to maintain than wallpaper. For example, you can use detergents to clean laminate. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.